What's up, uh, YouTube? This is uh, Caleb Hughes, the Bass Hunter 34 here. Um, on my first video, my, my actual first video, um, Tyler M72198 asked me to make a video shooting a BB gun. Now, I just got some little Daisy BB rifles, nothing too fancy um, up at the house, but um, I have a B CO2 BB pistol I wanted to show you guys. It's really sick. Um, I wouldn't call this a review because I've had this for a good while. So, I mean, I already know what the heck's good with it. It is the Colt 1911 um, Defender. Um, it's a Colt. I mean, it's Humorex technically, but you'll find it in a Colt package. Um, it's got that nice 1911 look to it. Um, the safety. It's real easy safety. It's just that little switch right there. Yeah. Easy trigger. Um, shoots 440 feet per second. Um, and because it's a fixed slide, it's a fixed slide, um, it does not, it's no blowback, and that's not always a plus for realistic action, but that saves CO2, and you save a lot of CO2 that way. Neat thing about this gun is, you don't have to worry about misplacing clips or anything, you just press this button right here, and the thing slides open. You can access CO2 there, and your ammo right there. I got it loaded up, ready to shoot. I haven't shot it yet. I just put it in a few minutes ago. But the CO2 I'm using is the Daisy Power Line. Um, this stuff is fairly cheap. Um, here's what it looks like. Umarex, anything Umarex and this gun too is going to recommend the Walther, um, the Walther brand CO2. And you have to order that and it can be pretty expensive sometimes. And especially with shipping and all that. So don't worry about that. That is the closest thing Academy was carrying. The nose, as you could see, was kind of slick. And you know, it was kind of then, it got narrower, and then got it out on top. That is the closest thing I could find um, to the actual Walther brand. So yeah. Um, the ammo I'm using, it is this Umarex um, 1500 BB. They're going to recommend Umarex, anything Umarex is going to recommend, RWS. I think I say RWS ammo. This is the Umarex for use on Umarex air guns. It says that way behind it if you can see it. But excellent ammo. This will cost you anywhere between five and seven bucks. I found it for like, I forgot, like either five or six at a Bass Pro Shops. Uh, I forgot exactly which Bass Pro Shops it was. But yeah, wherever you can find it, it is a whole lot cheaper than the RWS. It is all steel. I don't, don't go with zinc plated or copper. I don't like to risk it. Um, yeah, but it is it is pretty much the exact same product as the RWS brand, just a different label. So yeah, um, here's the gun. It's loaded up. I'm not sure if you can see, but like right out, let's see if you guys right there. There's a little paper plate target. That's probably I wouldn't call it more than 20 yards, but it's full. This thing should be shooting tacks. Um, I finally found a good place to put the camera. But the way I'm shooting, you guys should be able to kind of see me. And the target back there, it's just kind of wedged in between the trees, so I'm really hoping it don't fall off. But, yeah, get shooting. Alright, more empty. I'm not sure if you guys could see, but a lot of those bullets curve. Um, depending on the way you jam them in here, if the bullets can be kind of crooked in the thing, like two at a time will come out. And then sometimes, the, if it's like crooked ways, one BB over here and like that, then sometimes they'll come out weird, but you can fit more that way. So, yeah. Um, let's go take a look, see how we did. Um, if you can see, I missed a lot of those. That was 15 shots. But let's see exactly how many we hit. Um, yeah, that's one, two, three, four, there's a fifth, six, seven, seven or eight hits out of 15, and the first two that came out came out at the same time. So, I mean, that's not bad, because, I mean, a lot of air guns will do that. Um, that happens a lot. So, you guys can be patient if I can find the way I set this. There's this convenient little thing in this tree. It was a perfect spot to put a camera. I was like, thank you, Jesus. 
so I found a great spot. Loading this, because you know you got to get it through that little hole right there, it can be sort of a hassle, but once you get it down, it gets a whole lot easier. I don't think I got too much, but yeah, I'm going to load this thing up. Probably just toss the ones I don't use. Come on now. Sorry, this is a little extra time. I am. Uh, spring's coming around up here. Well, down here, really, because we're in the south. I'm down here in Texas. I live in Grandview, Texas. It's uh, kind of south of Fort Worth. So, yeah. Um, it's turned to spring down here. We have one pond that's real shallow that I think they're already spawning, or some are already post spawn even. It's weird. But yeah and then we got another place and there's a the Matthews Lake it's like a government lake we're hoping to go to so I should have a good couple of fishing videos coming up here soon so fear not okay it's reloaded shoot this thing up again there went two see dad we knocked target down there was like four times there that two bullets came out and like one of the two hit it. So I, I, I hit the target a whole lot more that time. Uh, thank goodness for my aim. It ain't the best, but we'll have to work. Okay, let's see the target right here. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fourteen, fifteen. Um, holes in this. Some of them, they didn't go all the way through. Those are when the two came out. One of them's usually weaker than the other. But, yeah, so I got 15 now, so I got eight. And so, yeah, if they were shooting out double like that and I got eight, that's pretty good. But, yeah, shooting double, that's going to happen with a lot of air guns. Um, there's nothing to worry about that. Um, that's not really a problem. It just really depends on how the BBs are in the chamber or the magazine. With ones with the actual magazines in it, you don't have to worry so much about that. With this inner magazine thing, sometimes they can be loaded in, like one over here, like I just told you earlier. And sometimes that'll result in two coming out at one time. But yeah, um, mind the bullets that did not hit the target. Um, mind my aim. But this is just sort of a review, you could say, of, of the Colt 1911. Um, Defender model, um, 450 FPS. I think Academy has it in stock now. Cabela's does. About $59.99, anywhere between $60, $70. Really depends on where you buy it. But yeah. So thanks for watching. Um, this is the Bass Hunter 34. Like, subscribe, comment. We'll have more videos coming up soon. So yeah, just stay tuned. Thank you for watching this video. Tight lines. Um, stay outdoors. Be safe with air guns, and you have a God-blessed day.